Hello, Internet, and everyone out there watching. This is Victor Brewer with the Explosive Truth. And I had a quick uh, update to provide to you guys regarding um, whether or not or how much distortion is in the 7.2 millimeter lens. Um, just to give you a really quick understanding, every single lens in existence has some measure of distortion. It's not, you know, extreme with rectilinear lenses as it is with fisheye lenses, but it's still there. There is slight distortion. Now, I'll be honest, I did not expect there to be as much distortion in the rectilinear lens that's been in the 7.2 since I started doing some more tests on it. Um, when I initially looked at the photos on the website and talked to the guy that I ordered it from, from Rage Cams, he was really... Um, friendly and he assured me that it had the least amount of distortion um, in comparison to all the other GoPro lenses. So um, I had this kind of I had this discussion with Rob already a little bit about you know how pretty much every lens has some form of distortion or some amount of distortion but the nice thing with rectilinear lenses is it's very correctable. And I kind of wanted to show you guys how that looks. So in general lenses distort um, with, there's what's called uh, barrel distortion. And, uh, basically, <laughs> I'm sorry. There's what's called barrel distortion. And barrel distortion occurs like a barrel kind of in the center of the lens and causes things to bulge just like a fisheye lens does. So I wanted to show you here. You can see there's a slight curve with this, uh, this tube here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to rotate the both layers. I have two layers. I've corrected and uncorrected. And so I'm going to rotate this a little bit just so you can kind of see and get the an idea of what this is going to end up looking like. Um, basically how much distortion is there. So that's pretty good there. So this is with distortion. As you see, it's bulged slightly in the middle. Um, and I'm going to turn off, basically I, what I did is I went through this process here. This is where you take the camera, and I did this in video mode just so I know it would apply to the video well because sometimes the aspect ratio shifts and that sort of thing um, between video and photos. So what I did is I went through here, and I had this software, Adobe Lens Profile Creator, create a profile for the 7.2 rectilinear GoPro lens. And so we created that profile and it tracked those points and it detected, you know, obviously any form of distortion or um, geometric distortion, chromatic aberration distortion, and vignetting as, as it, you know, as it could in the lens, any and all. And so this is what I came up with. This, this carbon fiber rod I have here was from a drone build a few, actually two years ago. Um, or three years ago, actually, 2014. So this is a 32 millimeter carbon fiber rod, pretty pretty good sized carbon fiber rod, um, and it's very straight. Um, I got it from Rockwest Composites, and their tolerances are it's better than a ruler. So that is with correction there. So I'll show you without correction. See, there's slight distortion. That's with correction. So there is some distortion there. There's, there's, there's. It, it's not a ton, but it's enough that it does need correcting. And um, I'll be honest, I, you know, I, I saw some as the camera shifts up and down. You see some, you know, roll across your frame. So what we did over here is I pulled some of the stills. So this is without correction. Your lens correction. This is with lens correction. This is without lens correction. And this is with lens correction. So in in my opinion, I still see some form of bulge or curve there um, with and without lens correction. Um, this profile, like I said, I did it, um, I've done it twice now. And I intend to do it again, just because I think the vignetting is slightly off, because part of the room was darker than the other. But um, I want to do this again, 
just to make sure I'm covering all my bases because I want this test to be as fair and as honest and as open as possible. Um, I'm going to put this lens profile online for other people to download and test. They can pull screen grabs. Um, actually, they can just download the footage. Um, download the footage in, in its entirety. And make sure you download the 2.7K version. Um, this will not work on a small... Uh, well, it might work on a smaller resolution, but this resolution was generated using the 2.7K um, footage. So what I would suggest is I'm going to put that up there for people to download and they can um, gra take screen grabs and apply the correction themselves and see what it looks like. And I'm also going to be sending the camera to Rob so he can also create a profile and put a profile out there. And it's fairly simple to do. Um, like I said, you got to take photos that are in focus, or not take photos, but I took video and stills and I used it on a tripod. And you need to use it on tripod. That's my wife calling. Hello, love. Um, so I would definitely recommend that um, other people do this. And like I said, I'm going to send the camera out, let Rob play with it. And I'll probably send it to Globebusters as well to let them play with it and see that um, you really can get accurate imaging out of this camera and lens. I mean, this that's what the whole reason we set up the 7.2 is because I believe it was the most accurate lens we could set up or send up or the one with the least amount of distortion. So just wanted to make that for you guys. I know there's a lot of discussion and kind of clarify what's out there and, and hopefully people understand that I don't think that the lens distortion is causing this central bulge. Now it's slightly less I think without it but not by much. It's about there. So alright I appreciate your guys' time and I hope you guys have a good night and keep watching and keep liking the videos it helps me and um, helps me want to make more at least and want to get stuff out to you guys. It helps me know that you guys are enjoying it and not only that it helps me understand that you guys at least appreciate the amount of effort and time that's going into do this. Um, it's taking a lot of time away from my wife and kids, and that can be difficult, but it's, it's worth it in the end, I believe, to try to figure all this out. Thanks, and have a good night.